So I kid you not, today, today is, is it's the 16th, I think, of April, and I just found this <laughs> at Target. <laughs> I just found a uh, Mega Constructs. Like, literally, I'm going, I'm going home to film this video tomorrow, and I just found one of these, and it's like, online only. I think that's worth it. <laughs> Hey, that's JB, Rick Fanatic here. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the new LEGO Rise of Gru Minions minifigures versus the Mega Constructs blind bags and minifigures. Mega Constructs had the Despicable Me license around 2016, around like 2014 to 2016. LEGO, however, has been working on sets clearly for a while, and they now have the license. This set releases in 2020. We got the bike, and then we also have the buildable minions figures. I'm going to be combining the figs from that set, also taking a look at this different laboratory at these laboratories in here. So we're just going to do a small little comparison. I actually found this, if you saw the clip in the beginning, I found this at Target like yesterday, which is crazy because, again, this has a copyright date of 2016. This is one of those random finds that kind of just happened to happen. <laughs> and this happened last night and you're watching this on a Friday of the 17th, then that is, I got this yesterday. So it's pretty crazy. Let's pop these things open. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, a like would be much appreciated. It's free for you and it helps me out as well as a subscription with the notification bell on. It helps me out so much and it's free for you guys and I really do appreciate it. Let's get right on with the comparison. Crack this set open we're going to take a look at the build and the minifigures first hand here now i will say i'm going to be biased against mega constructs simply because i'm a lego fan not a mega constructs fan however that's not going to inhibit my review of these two sets when comparing the minifigures i'm going to be completely unbiased well i mean not really but <laughs> you know what i mean i'm going to try my best just to be accurate to exactly what these minifigures are and how they act and how they look. Taking a look at the instruction manual, I don't know how all Mega Constructs builds work, but this is a really interesting way of doing it with the different colors on there and having everything together. But that the, out of side, this is a minifigure comparison. So I'm gonna build this up and you're gonna see the final product right now. This is the final build. I will say there are zero extra pieces. So if you lose one of these tiny, tiny pieces that don't even look like a uh, a Lego brick, but a Mega Constructs piece, then then you kind of you're kind of done for. But this is the little build. It's actually kind of neat. So if you pull this thing back, you can spin this top part right, and then it's kind of showing off the different uh, like different things that the minions could be doing. Which actually I haven't even taken them out yet. But you pull this back and it flips to Doctor Nefario, frozen in carbonite, <laughs> I guess, which is a thing. Then you've got different accessories, but. I guess the biggest thing between these two builds is just the quality. I mean, looking at this, this looks like some sort of thing from China. I don't know, it just, it, it looks and feels cheap, if you will. All the pieces do, they feel, each piece felt not different, but they just, I don't know, it just didn't feel good to me in my hand. Maybe it's because I've been spoiled on the quality of Lego, but uh, this isn't an ad for Lego. This is just my personal opinion. That was the base area. Let's take a look at the minifigures, which is what you're here to see. And I can already tell what type of customization you can have with these guys. So let's bring these up. Let me compare the counterparts, I guess, to these guys. And then I've got that there. I don't know if these are the exact same figures, but they're pretty darn close having these two guys. Let me take it up on my little display stand thingamajigger here, and then we're going to take a look at them closer. Let's look at the minifigures. They're pretty similar in size. The Mega Constructs ones are going to be much bigger, and also the Mega Constructs ones have a bunch of holes all around them, and I'm guessing that's just for accessories. So you can see up top, they do have a little hole, but it's not a stud. So that means you can stick, I guess, one of these hair accessories on the inside or, or not. Or, never mind. Hang on. I finally got that hard hat on and you can see the little difference. Actually, did the minion guy come with a hard hat? 
I think the Lego version came with a hard hat too, but I cannot find that guy at all. So I'm not exactly sure where. He 100% did. That one is, but we could just see the quality difference. Just me having them, feeling them in my hand. Um, I don't know, the Lego one just feels a lot more like a brick system and not just like a toy and that also happens so each minion i guess the customizable part nothing else really comes out you can't remove the hands or the arms i gave up on trying to film on that stand um so the only customizable piece are i guess the arms do come out it's like a ball bearing here and it kind of just gets pushed in um and then i don't think the clothes can come off maybe can i Oh, I guess they do. So yes, you can actually remove the clothing and swap them out. Whereas the Lego ones, you can't. They have one solid piece. As you can see, these are the arms and then the legs are one solid assembly. So I guess that is actually a unique feature and a good feature that the Mega Constructs ones have is you're able to replace the entire flesh of the minion and just have the clothing. Whereas the Lego, you have the flesh built into the clothing and that's seen as on the, all the other ones too so you can't really have any other kind of minion in there or I guess they're all yellow so it doesn't really matter in the end because all the mouths are printed on top but I would definitely say the quality is way up there for the Lego ones and again I am biased toward Lego however it's just you can see it you can feel it in your hand wow actually so the Mega Constructs can actually take their feet out too yeah you can so you can actually take their feet out and move them up and down so this is a learning experience for me you can I think maybe maybe these guys actually do have a better posability than the Lego one let me give them a kind of scared face there I don't know I'm kind of torn because I like the Lego ones of course because I'm loyal to Lego if you will but these guys aren't half bad the build quality though is what doesn't do it for me that's just that that was just bad plain plain bad i think just the the quality of the bricks but you know these guys aren't half bad let's take a look at these two guys here i assume that this is a hair piece yeah that can be taken out and that's a very similar piece it just has a bigger tuft of hair this one's legoified and you can again indeed take off the mask piece which is totally great it's actually it's actually pretty cool um, the Lego minifigure ones, this is one solid mask and you can just attach the eyes to. So they definitely Legoified it much better than the Mega Constructs one. But again, you can remove the arms and do all sorts of customization. Now, I did not get any other figures except for the blue kind. Actually, I did. Let's open up the blind bag right now. Let's see what I got. I paid $1.99 for this thing. And I got a hula skirted minion. Oh my goodness. There we go. So the hula skirted minion has a little coconut bra. And then we've got the mask piece as well as a little coconut, I believe is what this is probably supposed to be. And then it even comes with a little stand that says China on the side. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really hope Lego never starts doing that. But there you go. You've got the little hula minion. This is very funny. I guess there's a, oh, there's a sheet of all the different ones you can get. So that's crazy. So I'm wondering if Lego is ever going to do blind bags for their minifigures. I would think they would. That just seems like something they should do because of how, you know, how, how these are going to sell and just how well I think that Lego ones would sell. I don't know if these sold particularly well, but the Lego ones, I feel people are going to be much more inclined to buy, but I mean, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to hate on these guys. They're the quality is not that bad. I think they are probably much more realistically proportioned because you can see the tall guy is much thinner than the wide guy. And then the short guy is kind of a little bit bigger. So the proportions are there and they're much bigger, better than the Lego ones, because all these guys are going to be the exact same unless they decide to make a giant one like this size because they do have the three by three. If they made it a three by three round one, that would be very interesting to see what they could do with that. But again, the posability, I'm gonna have to give it to Mega Constructs here. However, quality 100% goes to Lego and I'm gonna stick with Lego. I'm not gonna start collecting the Mega Constructs ones. I just did this for this one video. 
The Mega Constructs also come with a few accessories that are large and you've got like a crate that has zero studs on it, although it looks like it has a, yeah, it's got a bar on the side so they can pick up the box and all that sort of thing. And then you also have some photos of Gru that people, I guess, are picketing because they don't like Gru for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what happened in the movie exactly that would cause them to do this, but there we go. It's a really neat idea, and I do think the posability definitely wins for the Mega Constructs. However, the quality is there for LEGO. Let me know what you guys think about all this jumbled mess. Here's the different variants, I guess, of the LEGO ones. Again, it's the same top, and then it's the different bottom, whereas this one can be combined with any of these tops. And any of these tops can be combined with any of these bottoms. Let me know what you guys think about this video in this comparison in the description below. This is kind of last minute. I'm filming this on the day that it's releasing and I didn't really have enough time to make a fully thought out video, but I hope you guys did enjoy this in the end. If you did, please leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead. It's free for you and it definitely helps me out quite a bit. I'm almost at 3,000. I got all my pieces in for my 3,000 subscriber special. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.